back-to-back -back wins, Peterborough were eight points from safety going into their match with Doncaster at London Road. Could the Posh make it three in a row against the side vying for the playoffs? Peterborough really should have gone in the break a goal to the good. But Sergio Torres was the first to come up against veteran keeper Neil Sullivan in fine form. Sullivan turned 40 last month, but is showing no signs that his powers are fading. The former Scottish international saving this time from Charlie Lee. Doncaster may have been unbeaten in their previous four, but they were getting pinned back at London Road. Reuben Reid and Tommy Rowe the next to try and fail to beat Sullivan. The home side would get their breakthrough. Lee again involved and he would claim the goal. Whether the ball actually crossed the line is unclear, but referee Fred Graham said it had. That's all that mattered to the home fans. But there will be no doubt over Rovers' equaliser. Gareth Roberts had only scored seven times in over 120 league appearances for Doncaster. Number eight would be one to remember. Both sides were now pushing for the win. Craig McHale Smith scored the Posh's winner in their last home game. This time Sullivan would make sure there would be no repeat. And it was the visitors who claimed the points late on. John Oster charging in to finish off what Billy Sharp couldn't. A bitter blow for Peterborough. The victory means Doncaster are now just a point behind South Yorkshire rival Sheffield United. Face of the weekend. It's our second season in the championship, and you know, you can see how difficult Peterborough's found the first season. So, you know, we were the same, you know, sitting bottom of the league, so we've come a long way. So, I think we'll uh, look, at the, look at the rest of the results and, um, you know, see where we are. You know, this is probably, you would hope, as, as good as made us safe. So, it's a great achievement. There's still, what, 10 games to go. Do you know that there's players out there that have been asked to you know, come back from injury early, coming out of the blue to play for the team and play out position and, and people are going about the business magnificently and I think the fans are responding to that and knowing that the players are really giving it a go, trying to implement the organisation and, and the tactics and the set plays and you know, like I said, I'm really disappointed for them because they've put in a massive effort tonight and they've got nothing to show for it.